Hey, what's up? It's Matthew, and I'm now going to do a quick little video on how to track your time if you're working with uh, someone who's not in the same city with you, or office with you, or an outsourcer, and even in a different country. So this is how I track time for myself, and I'm going to try to show someone that I'm working with in another country how to track their time so I can see what they're doing and what they're up to and see if there's anything fishy going on or if they're excelling and going really fast and you know you gotta track these things so the first thing I'm gonna do is go to I'm gonna go to Gmail so this is inside my Gmail account I'm gonna go into a different Gmail account actually And the reason I'm going to a different Gmail account is because that is where the particular file is that I want. Look how nice and clean my Gmail is. It's all empty. I must have gone through and just thrown everything away. That's kind of cool. So you come in here into your Documents folder, right? And if you want to make a new document, you can make a new uh, uh, regular Word document, just uh, something to write on here. You can make a new PowerPoint presentation right here, a new spreadsheet right here, a drawing, a collection. This collection is kind of like a folder. This is where you would uh, you'd create one of these and put a whole bunch of stuff in it. For example, my friend Joshua, um, I'm going to put this um, edit edit tracking sheet inside of Joshua's collection. You can also drag it over here if you wanted to. Um, Joshua's in there. And as you can see, this particular file is in two different collections. It's really cool. This one file is living in two folder, two places on my server, which can't do on your normal computer. Uh, so I am going to click on this edit track sheet. This is how I track my work all day long. Uh, so my normal work day is 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Okay, Monday, March 7th, Tuesday, March 8th, Wednesday, March 3rd. At 9 a.m., 9.30, I noticed blah, blah, blah. At 11 a.m., I was doing this. At 1 p.m., I was doing this. 3 p.m., I was doing this. You know, and sometimes if I take the day off, half day off, you can see there's blank squares. But you have to check in and you actually have to kind of, as you go through your day, every two hours, just kind of uh, capture where you're at and what you're doing. The reason you want to do that is so that both parties are in line with each other and congruent and, and you know, everyone's on the up and up. At the end of the day, I would like extra stuff that I need to know about. For me, on this day, my boss, Tusia, popped in at 7.30, told me the order of the test switched a bit. So, to me, that means that, you know, it's more work coming. Overall comments of the day. So, it's a real basic spreadsheet. Nothing much going on here, but it can go on forever. And if you do something like this, your boss or your coworker or whoever you're, um, whoever you're working with at the time can check in at any point of the day, see if you're there, and also that Google Doc, if it's open, you can actually tell if the person is online or not because it says that person is viewing. So it's a good way to keep track of each other. And uh, that's the tracking time tool sheet that I work. If you have any questions, Feel free to hit me up.